So one of the questions that I get asked a lot is where do I get the data from? Because obviously if you're trying to learn Excel, uh, there are many ways you can generate your own data, but if you already have a file that's configured for you or ha that has a lot of data, it just cuts the time for you so that you can concentrate more on data manipulation um, and maybe even writing formulas as opposed to populating your spreadsheet so that you can start your analysis. The place where I like to get my data is called the fake name generator. So if you go to Google and just search for fake name generator, and I'm sure it's going to be the first link that comes up. Uh, FakeNameGenerator.com is the website. Go ahead and click on OK. I'm sorry, click on the link. So here it gets a little bit tricky. So instead of um, fiddling with the options on this page, just go ahead and click on Order in Bulk. And uh, just agree to the TOS. And from here, you can choose the type of uh, output file. And I'm just gonna go ahead and choose Excel and yes, I want it as a zip file. Now there are a couple of options you can customize. You can um, say, okay, well I want the uh, American name set and the country, you can set it to Canada, England, whatever you like to say. You can also go ahead and customize the demographics of the data that you will be downloading. So say for example, I want um, to say that, well maybe they're like 60% females and 40% male, and I can also go ahead and change the age limit of the data set. Once that is done, you can go ahead and choose the fields that you want in your data. Now, ideally, I would just go ahead and click on all um, because it's just the name, the, um, the telephone number, birthday. I wanna have it all. And once it's imported into Excel, if I wanna go ahead and delete something that I don't need, I'll just go ahead and delete the column as opposed to going through this process again. Um, so once that is done, just say, hey, 3,000 rows is more than enough for you to do the analysis. And uh, go ahead and type in your email address, type in the CAPTCHA, and uh, then just go ahead and click on place your order. So when you complete the order, the file will be emailed to you in the email address that you provided on the previous page. So from here you can go ahead and access your email and download the file as an attachment and when you do, uh, it is going to look uh, pretty much the same. You might get a different data set because I think it's generated randomly, but you will get pretty much every data type. You will see uh, numerical data, you will see string data. They even have uh, lat and long if you want to plot this information on a map. So it's a good starting point. Uh, once you have this information, you can go ahead and build on this. You can go ahead and create pivot tables on this data or maybe even pivot charts. And you can filter this data, you can start slicing the information and maybe even create dashboards based on this data. And it also presents an opportunity for you to start making changes to the data by either combining the first name, the middle name and the surname. Um, so say for example, I just wanted to have uh, field in here that reads full name. Well, the way to do this is that you're going to have to use a formula. And the formula that I'm going to use is concatenate. So I want to concatenate the first name with the middle name with the last name. Um, now, obviously, it's not going to look very good. So I am going to go ahead and add a space between the first name, middle name, and the last name, there we go. I think this will look good. And just uh, double click here to populate the remaining fields. So now that you have this data, you can concentrate more on the analysis part without having to worry too much about where the data is gonna come from. But the, it really didn't have anything to do with the functionality of Excel, but I just wanted to show you where the data is coming from, what's the best resource out there uh, and I'm sure there are more resources and more websites that allow you to do the same thing uh, but the one that I happen to use is the fake name generator.com website and you'll notice that most of the data that I use in my tutorials uh, comes from this website so if you do want to follow along I think this is a great starting point point. and if you do know of other resources that do the same thing leave the link in the comment section and I will check them out thanks for watching